Okay, beginning day 25, I made one last visit to the water cache <clears throat> here at Lake Hughes Road. Um, it's only about 200 yards from camp. And now uh, we start the long climb up. It's about five in the morning. Uh, there were some folks having conversations. It kind of woke me up. I fell asleep uh, early and uh, <clears throat> slept really hard. So there's no traffic on this road right now. And looks like up we go. Yeah, there were some considerable wind gusts when I first made camp and laid down, but they eased up and it was a quiet night. Uh, the vestibule thermometer got to 57, so it didn't get very cold either. And I'm glad not to be in a cloud this morning. Almost missed it, but here's the cave. Looks really interesting. Guess you could stay in there if you had to. Yeah, it only took about 10 minutes to drop the second layer. So uh, the climbing is definitely generating body heat. So this is the spring in the area, the first one we came to. I've got plenty of water, but the way they've set it up sure makes it easy to fill a bottle, doesn't it? forest. forest of poodle dog bush here. This section is just so pretty after being in that burn zone that long. Okay, it's 10 after 9. Um, we've done about 10 and a quarter miles so far. And we're coming up on the last of the big climbs, so um, you get that done. And then there are some water sources and downhill. Um, so I've done about a third of the mileage I need to do 
by about nine o'clock, which was four hours. So um, considering once we get the climbing done, the terrain will be easy. Um, even another eight hours puts us there at five. So that's really not bad. I think, I think we'll make it. Look at all this miner's lettuce, both sides of the trail, all the way down. It smells really good out here. Five hundred miles on the Pacific Crest Trail. Okay, it's about 15 till noon and we just stopped here on these lovely rocks in the shade and had our lunch. We've got about 16 miles behind us and about 15 more to go and we're very near the top of the climb and then it'll be downhill from there. A couple water sources on the way. Uh, we'll see which one's more convenient to our timing. Okay, so here's a water collection spot that supposedly I can filter water out of. I'm gonna give it a try. Well that guzzler was full of cold water. There were a couple of like bumble, drowned bumblebees floating on top, but I got them out of the way and it was real easy to reach in there. And uh, you just take the lid off, reach in there and fill up your water bag and filter it. It was marvelous. So I went ahead and got two and a half liters. Um, and that should get me the 15 miles. We got one little tiny climb left and then it's all downhill to hiker town so the time should be uh, pretty quick uh, relative to the 15 miles and uh, that should be plenty of water to get me there so I think I'm set Okay, it's a little after two. We have 10 miles to go, so we've put in 20. And now just have to see how steep the downhills are. So far, some of them have been pretty intense. I mean, really, really hard on your knees when you're trying to stop yourself from going down too fast, but 10 miles of downhill ought to go pretty quick. It's two now, so let's say three hours, five o'clock, six o'clock. Still have time to go get a burger at the store and pick up a few things to resupply and pitch a tent at Hiker Town and uh, get up the next morning and walk the 17 mile flat section along the LA Aqueduct. That should be another interesting uh, point on the trail.
it's four o'clock and we have about four and a half just under uh, miles to go to hiker town um it wasn't as flat at the end as i thought we keep um climbing hills dropping down into canyons climbing back up the other side topping a hill etc and it's been like that for a while now but i think we're we're getting close to close to it because we can only go on for four and a half more miles um still feeling pretty good got enough water um breeze is picking up in the canyons it's kind of nice so another hour and a half which puts us there at 5 30 um and we'll get a burger and do some resupply and maybe even get a shower we'll see Well, they went up and down one canyon. They skirted two others, contoured around the edges. And then the final one was a drop down I thought was gonna go out a little valley, but nope. Up the other side, steepest one of all. And now, hopefully we're on the home stretch, last couple of miles. So here we are at Hiker Town. Evidently I have the Boss Hogs room. I decided to bust out for a room tonight since it's gonna be windy and noisy for all the hikers. They have a bunch of different buildings here that you can stay in. Gathering place. And then Marta made wonderful homemade tamales. Yeah, so it's an interesting little place, and uh, I'm about to retreat into my little room, eat some snacks, have a beer I bought at the store, and uh, end up making the bed. Yeah, and we have very eclectic art in here. We have kind of English village scene. We have a folk art. Happy New Year. And we have her. All very interesting. Serenity Shuttle has landed Trail Mile 517.6 um, here at Hiker Town in the Boss Hogs room. So, so yeah, I busted out for a room so I could get out of the wind and out of all the noise of the other hikers and uh, <clears throat> get a good night's sleep before I start on the aqueduct tomorrow. Uh, today was a lot of climbing and did a 31 mile day, just a little bit more than that. Got here about 5.20. Um, <clears throat> went inside, got greeted, met Martha. She made me four tamales and some wonderful citrus, Mexican citrus drink and a Sprite and cheese and a piece of cake for free. Oh, it's marvelous. And then uh, got in a van, went down to the Ninoc Market and got some food items to kind of fill out the next two days in the food bag so I can get to Christy. Um, <clears throat> Christy has suggested that I do like a couple of 23s and then have a short morning and because um, it's about 50 miles and then have a short morning and meet her at the highway and then we can have most of the day <clears throat> to get things done and then put me back on trail, which is an excellent idea. So this is definitely my longest day. I uh, was feeling it the last couple of miles as we were going up and down in the canyons. Um, there was a lot of climbing today. <clears throat> so, uh, and a lot of burn zone walking. So uh, getting out of those and into those lovely grassy live oak forests were wonderful. Um, ran into the Belgians again. Got to take two um, sets of water from Guzzlers, which are these, they have a big um, concrete slab collection area that then drains into them, um, or a roof over them that collects water and dumps it in. Uh, and then uh, you reach inside and there's cold water. Um, first Guzzler kind of tasted like green tea, probably because there's lots of leaves in there. 
um, but it was fine. It was a great cold water. Uh, and the second one um, was a little minerally, but it was really clear and clean. Um, and that was the one with the corrugated roof over it that I had to reach, take off the lid and reach inside there, uh, brush a few bumblebees away. So, uh, pretty adventurous day. Um, learned some things, um, and I had the longest day yet, so now I'm going to sleep, hopefully with no disturbances. So, thanks for coming along with me, and uh, remember, we're trying to do the impossible, and that's what makes us mighty.